everyone. Hey everyone, how are you doing this morning? It's Marla. Hopefully everybody is doing well. We have a little bit of a car chat going on this morning. I am actually about to head into my doctor's office for my physical and I wanted to go over a few things that I have been using religiously in my skincare routine and I wanted to also unveil the other two dossier fragrances that I told you about. In my last video, I mentioned that someone from Dossier contacted me and asked me if I would like to show some of their perfumes on my YouTube channel. And I said, sure, because I love perfumes, even though a lot of my family will not let me wear perfumes because they have allergies. But I still try to sneak on a little bit of a fragrance if I can. Now, if you did not watch my last video or if you're not familiar with Dossier, Dossier A is a company that makes perfumes that they get inspiration from or kind of dupes of celebrity brands or some of the more luxury brands that, you know, I was actually at Sephora yesterday looking at some of the perfumes and the prices. There's no way I am paying $100 for a perfume. They make luxury brands more accessible to the average person like myself who really doesn't want to pay that kind of money for a perfume. Now, what what I liked about this company was they're cruelty free, they're vegan, they're a sustainable company, they're worried about the environment, recyclable packaging. And the other thing I saw on their website, which I thought was interesting, is if you would happen to not like one of the perfumes you get and you return it, they then donate those perfumes to charity. So there is kind of as little waste as possible, which is great. Dossier is located, I believe, in New York. I think their perfume and their perfumers are sourced out of France. Right. So I tried two scents last month that I showed you and I wanted to show you two more scents this month. It's kind of like a try it before you buy it idea when it comes to perfumes. Obviously you buy the perfume, but you're not stuck with it. You can have it for 30 days. You can use it to see if you like it. If you don't like it, you return it, which is a free return. You can purchase their perfume several different ways. You can go online and purchase a perfume directly from the company. You don't have to sign up for a membership. You can actually purchase individual perfumes. But if you would like to get a little bit of a discount, I think they do a 10% discount if you have a subscription with them. And that knocks down the price for people, especially for people that like to purchase and try out lots of different scents. I find the perfumes to be long lasting. The perfumes that I have that are the original luxury brand, I've compared it to their inspired perfume and I notice no difference in the scent. I cannot tell the difference between one one or the other. They make great inspired perfumes or dupes of some of the most popular perfumes that you may be interested in and they make them at a very reasonable price. So like I said, you can either purchase them directly from the company or you can actually, I think they are now sold in Walmart. So I'm going to unveil two new perfumes for you today. This is how they come packaged like this in this recyclable box and then you just open it up. They include this card inside each box and what's on the card is it tells you the notes of the perfume. It also tells you which perfume that this was inspired by and then this is the way it comes in the box. One of the two perfumes I'm going to be talking about today is this one. This is Fruity Jasmine. And this is actually inspired by Dior's J'adore. I have tried that scent before and I honestly cannot tell the difference between this one and the luxury brand scent. The top notes in this are mandarin, green leaves, sweet pea. The middle notes are jasmine, peach, champaca. I'm not sure what that is. The base notes are sandalwood, plum, and musk. Really lovely scents. And this is a magnetic little top so it snaps right back on and is very secure. And I really love the packaging, very clean, minimalistic. I was really happy that I was introduced to this company. Now, I think if you purchase this online by itself and you're not subscribed to their subscription service, I think this is $29. And then if you are subscribed to their subscription, which I believe is $29 per month, and you can use that money to purchase perfumes with, we'll then get a 10% discount off 
off of all their cents. So this would then be, I think, approximately $26.10 if you were a member of their subscription service. The other scent I'm unveiling this month is this one, and it is floral grapefruit. And this is inspired by Chanel's Chance Otondra. The top notes are grapefruit, pear, black currant. The middle notes are hyacinth, jasmine, and lilac. And the base notes are orris, musks, and amberwood. Love, love, love this company. Happy to unveil those two perfumes for you. And I have two more next month, which are my last two to unveil. Now, some of the skincare items I picked up that I love, and I'm actually going to show you some clips of me putting these items on my face. I love these so much. I've been using these now for the past 60 days or 90 days, and I use them every day. The first one is from a company that I really like buying things from. It's called Peace Out. This is their AHA Pore and Blackhead Exfoliator. I've tried different exfoliators like this before, but this is my favorite. The reason I like this is you put this on dry skin. I put this mainly in my T-zone area, and it helps to exfoliate and unclog your pores. It makes my skin feel and look smoother. I massage this all into my skin, and I actually like to use this as a mask. So I leave it on for over 10 minutes, and then I rinse it off. This has a five acid blend in it with mushroom extract and botanical extracts to help hydrate your skin. When I take this off, my skin feels so soft and smooth. I love it. My pores look better. One of my favorite items of skincare that I've been using the past couple months two other items from Peace Out. One is their retinol eye stick. I use this under my eyes all around. I love it. It helps to firm the eye area. It helps with dark circles, lines, and wrinkles. It's a really nice serum balm that has encapsulated retinol in it. It helps with the elasticity around your eyes. It helps to make that area around your eyes look smoother. It just really seems to help, I think, with fine lines and wrinkles. Like It contains the encapsulated retinol. It contains a peptide complex and it contains bacuchiol, which is an antioxidant. Love that stick around my eyes. The other stick that I told you about, I think a couple months ago that I just repurchased again from Peace Out. It's their 6% vitamin C stick. I put this all around my eye area also. It helps with fine lines and wrinkles and dullness and dryness that you might have around your eyes. It is a serum stick that contains vitamin C, caffeine, and peptides. I love this. I use it almost every morning on my eyes. It just seems to really hydrate that area and really helps with the fine lines and wrinkles around my eyes. Next, I'm going to show you a beautiful, lovely, gorgeous palette I picked up from Hourglass. Let me take you to it. I'm going to show you all the different shades in the palette. It is absolutely heavenly and I think everybody should own it. I love it. It is just such a well formulated palette. The shades they chose in it are gorgeous and the formulation of the powders are lovely. I think there are three different versions of this Hourglass palette. This is the Leopard palette version. I think this works really well on my medium skin tone. But isn't this packaging just exquisite? All three of these palettes are gorgeous. I forget what the other ones are. There might be like an octopus or something else. I can't remember. But I chose the Leopard. It comes with this huge mirror. And then you have these six different finely milled, beautiful ambient lighting powders. They are gorgeous. And let me show you what these colors look like on my fingers. The first three I am showing you on the top. One is a finishing powder that's dim light. The number two is the metallic strobe powder, which is the celestial strobe light. And then the third one on the very right is, I believe, another finishing powder, which is called mood exposure. And then when you go down to the bottom three, number four is a blush. I think that's called Iridescent Rose. Number five, which is the bottom middle blush, 
is called Ethereal Flush. And number six is a bronzer called Lustrous Bronze. Absolutely stunning ambient lighting powder palette. I think I'm going to get the other two. They're just so gorgeous. I love the way these are on my skin. They feel like cream going on and they look beautiful. One more thing I'm jumping in here for. This is a different day. I'm at a different doctor's office, of course. I'm loaded with my sunscreen, so my face may look a little white. But I wanted to mention one other skincare product that I've been using religiously for the past couple months. I feel it's really helped my skin. I incorporated this in my skincare routine, and I kind of reach for it on an everyday basis. And it is the Paula's Choice 25% Vitamin C Serum. I just repurchased just a new container of it. I love it. Can't be without it. And I wanted to show you the consistency of it. It's nice, creamy, hydrating consistency. I'll show you me putting this on my skin. This is now my favorite vitamin C serum. And I really feel that it is doing something beneficial for my skin. I hope you enjoyed this quick drive-by review. I listed all the products I talked about down in my description box. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye from Marla.